a couple of drops of Maggi. Funchi is a side dish commonly used on the ABC Islands made of, yeah, cornmeal actually. Yeah. Like a very thin cornmeal. More specifically, this is not a paid ad, we use arepa. Okay, the you got the yellow one, you got the white one, the white one you use for arepitas, the yellow one for funchi. Yes. Only use pan. Only, Only use pan, because all the other ones don't really taste right. Uh, it's weird. Get a, get a close up on me, get a close up on me. Uh, we need a sponsorship, sponsorship coming in, uh, ad coming in, sponsorship, we need a sponsorship ASAP, ASAP. Yeah, so arepa pan is actually uh, cooked cornmeal, so actually what we, only thing you need to do is rehydrate it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, the rule of thumb when you're making funchi is whatever amount of cornmeal you're gonna use, use double that amount of water. So then you know it'll... Okay, so I did it to about that line, so I'm gonna do half of that line. Uh, do you have scissors? Can you, can you grab me some scissors? There you go. Water simmering or boiling? Uh, simmering is fine, it doesn't have to be boiling. So this is about half of the amount of water that I put in the pan. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Half of the amount of water that I put in the pan. And right now, as I pour the polenta into the pot, I'm gonna be stirring as well, because so, you want to Wait, avoid... You put half the portion of the water? Yeah, or, or let me say it like this. The amount of flour, the, the amount of cornmeal that I put in here, I have double that amount of water in the pot cooking. Yeah. yeah. As I pour the cornmeal into the water, I'm gonna stir as well to avoid lumps. Stopping when you need to. You think something like they're funchy lumpy? Probably. I wouldn't because the lumps mean that, like the center of the lumps are grainy. True. So it's gonna be like eating sand. Yeah, but you, you always have those weirdos. <laughs> you always have those weirdos. I think you're one of those weirdos, man, because uh, <laughs> I would have never thought of that. Not good that you try, that's all I'm saying. See, as you stir, it starts to get thicker. There you go, you whisk it in, and this with this you can also make cornmeal porridge. You add a little milk and a couple other ingredients. See, it's already starting to thick up as it is. Take about 20 grams of butter, and mix that in as well. You let the heat of the funchi melt the butter. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Is, is there a technique to the whisking, or if it just, uh, you just whisk away? But a certain pattern you need to get. No, no patterns. No? Do like a, a healthy pinch of salt. And as you whisk, there you go. We do want it to be thicker, though. Because as the funchi cools off, it also gets even thicker. Mm-hmm. That's important and a very important step. You gotta let it cool off. Yeah. Because uh, if not, you're not gonna have a good time. But when it gets this thick as well, it's easier to just use a pali funji, or if you don't have that, a wooden spoon. Maybe we should have a pali funji, but I don't have one. I have about five. Say I know? Yeah. Say I know? Yeah. I have one right Okay, I don't. You got me. Look at that craftsmanship. Graham, how often do you make funji for yourself? Never. Because you see how much whipping this man's doing? I ain't trying to do all of that. I ain't trying to do all of that. But if someone out there sells some delicious funji, hit my DMs. I'll be more than happy to support. All right. I ain't trying to do all that whipping. So now uh, the funji itself is done. It's nice and thick. You pour that onto a plate or a bowl. So like you mentioned earlier, Dookie, like if you if you want to make like um, let's say later on you want to make funchi fries, then do you want to make your original funchi a bit más seco? So does it, does it make give, make a crunch or doesn't really it doesn't really matter? Um, yeah, you do want it to add a little bit more pro, more of the meal cornmeal yeah. to the water ratio mm -hmm. because uh, otherwise when you fry it, it's gonna like fall apart mm, and you're yeah, gonna have yeah. a big mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, also adds, this also adds a bit to the crunch. Yes. Yeah. So, Could sorry. you grab me a plate, please? There are weird plates at. You know where his plates are. You've been here multiple times. Come on. And then you do a flip. Mm. And then you got some funji. A little bit of funji. With a funji. Is that a sauce? Yeah, and uh -huh. as it cools off, 
it's gonna get firmer and then you just get, cut it into like a slice of cake and you eat it with your food. All right, so this is funchi. This is how we love to eat it. This is how we eat next to all our most classic dishes. This is quintessential criollo side dish. This is fantastic. But there's a way that we love to eat it even more and that's by frying it up. So Chris is gonna do that right now because Frying it up, adding a little bit of cheese, and according to Graham, a little bit of Maggi. A lot of Maggi. Yeah, a lot of Maggi. I'm into the Maggi, so I... Maggi is essential, you may stay for Maggi. Hey, let, let, I want to try out his way too, but frying this up, a little bit of oil, add some cheese to it, that's the way your grandma lets you know that she loves you. What's that going? Come on, you need the Maggi, you need the Maggi. Let's fry this up. If your food is a little sticky when you're passing the knife through it, you can always coat it with some butter or water. So usually when you're gonna serve it on a meal, you just cut off a, like a chunk. You serve that. It's like a piece of cake. Yeah. The cornbread. Yeah. But because we're gonna be frying it, I want a little bit more surface. I'm gonna get a bigger knife. What if we start a new tradition? Instead of cake at birthdays, we do funji cake. Because funji has a birthday cake. Uh, I, I would be down for that one. <laughs> There you go. You're gonna take it to your pan. Your pan. Take it to the pan, take it to the pan. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it, boom, boom. Wait, cornmeal goes in tutu? Yeah, yeah. Funchi, funchi, funchi goes in tutu. Oh wow, I didn't even know that. Tutu is basically a very, very fancy funchi. Oh, so basically, um, I didn't know that. How it kind of started off is when you have leftover uh, red bean soup. Yeah. You throw the funchi in there. Yeah. And then you have tutu. Ah. But nowadays they also put like cheese and other things like that in it, and then, yeah. Ah, okay, so the basis is then also cornmeal. For, uh, uh, I wouldn't say the basis, the basis would be the soup. Yeah. But you put it in larga sir? with uh, the funji. Ah, okay, okay, okay. No, I mean, that's what I say. Yeah. But to you, is funji like, or funji, funji is it one of those things that you need to have a smack of but enjoy it here or I think because because it's so um, neutral, mm -hmm. I don't think you. I, I would be surprised if I some if I find someone who's like, "Ooh, that's disgusting." Mm -hmm. Maybe they'd be like, "Yeah, it's not my favorite yeah, or anything yeah, like yeah, that," yeah. but I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So someone thinks, "Was I going to think was a was it the most smart or the Like, okay, now I really want that. But I agree. I think funji is one of those things that uh, either way you can enjoy it. It's also one of those things that once you eat one, you, you can't stop. You just keep eating and eating and it's a... Uh, it becomes an addiction. And once it's nice and crispy, you add some cheese. Way more cheese. Way more cheese. You got more cheese. You got more cheese? Thank you, Mr. Dad. Thank you. And the essential part. A couple of drops of Maggi. Ay, me le tiraba. Oh, Gion Dicky, oh, Gion Dicky, oh, Gion Dicky. Oh, Gion Dicky, no. Yeah, this dude. Ay, he, he, you, you don't have any control, man. You, you, you pour a little bit and you pour half a bottle. Jesus. Oh, Gion Dicky, no. Cheers. And there you have a really simple snack made with Funchi. Funchi is also not that expensive. So, uh, I'd say try it out. Hot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hello, Gus. Hello, sure. It's all right. I don't need it, but it's all right. No, it's essential. It's needed. Mm. It's needed. Very much needed. It, it makes the whole thing complete. Complete. Hey, you got some shit in the fridge, bro. Mm-hmm. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, I'm gonna take a walk. I'm gonna take a walk. Oh, man. I'm gonna take a grand, you know. I'm gonna take a grand, you know. I'm gonna take a grand, you know. It's a sandwich, it's a sandwich. I'm going to give you a sandwich. It's a sandwich, it's a sandwich. It's a sandwich, it's a sandwich. It's a sandwich. Yeah. I'm going to make a mess. I know, I know, I know. How do you, how do you feel about the Maggi addition? I like it. Yeah, do? Yeah. I'm going to win, but it's a Maggi, it's a Maggi, it's a Maggi, it's a Maggi. It's just crispy, yeah. and it's not, it's not, like, it's hard to get it not greasy. Yeah. But it's not greasy in an annoying way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh 
chill, huh? So that was the Fuji. If you like this video, let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell, follow us on social media, and let us know down in the comments what other kind of Caribbean food you would like us to uh, show you how to make. Bodaiba Oma, check us out. Yeah, tell your grandma, tell your mm -hmm. auntie, tell your uncle, your cousin, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. guy next door, you know, share the love. Mmm. -hmm.